Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thanks for checking in. I've been getting folks asking me questions about what my thoughts are on the dual survival debacle that happened the other night on the Discovery Channel where basically Cody Lundin was fired. Originally, I wasn't going to make a statement or a video on this, but I'm seeing a direction where the outdoors community is going. And I feel that if folks don't step in and say enough is enough, that this will eventually destroy our culture in our community from within. Years ago, I used to cycle, mountain bike ride, and, and I was also a roadie. And there's two different factions there, and they're, they're always fighting against each other, one thinking that they're more elite than the other one. When in theory, it's all just cycling. And basically, it's destroyed the culture from within. What I'm seeing now in the outdoors community, the prepping community, the preparedness, survival, whatever you want to call it, is basically that same sort of culture. People taking sides, us against them, and in the end result, it serves no purpose. It's a waste of time. Let's talk a moment about TV shows and even videos here on YouTube, such as mine. First and foremost, Basically, the only reason we watch any TV show or we watch even a YouTube video is for the entertainment value. I understand that. And I'm hoping that in my videos you see some entertainment value in them. And also, maybe you learn something in the process. I believe that some of these shows start out with that intent, but they also have paid sponsors. And with paid sponsors comes the increased pressure of they need more people to view their show, i.e. ratings, and then their equity goes up as a show. Whereas here on YouTube, we're rated basically by views, subscribers, likes, and comments. Pretty much the same, but apples to apples, they're, they're big time. Now, I feel shows like that, they're being pressured more and more and more to be more sensationalist, more extreme, because as we become more attuned to these survival shows, everybody's going, yeah, yeah, that's yesterday's news. We've been there. We've done that. We've seen it all. Whereas I think now it's starting to put people's safety at risk. Uh, people have to basically give up their core values uh, to achieve an end result. And now you're seeing different camps, you know, with the dual survival. You have the Joe Teddy camp. You have the Dave Canterbury camp. You have the Cody Lundin camp. And now you have whoever the new guy coming on camp on board. All this is doing is causing infighting. And the basic thing that we've all come together in this community to do is, quote, learn is being lost and wasted in time which is really the only precious resource that we have is time and we're gonna waste it away when we could be learning and owning skills arguing about was such and such right on the show did they do this even in our videos we we get comments like that you didn't do this right you didn't do that maybe so but sometimes things work for certain individuals at a certain location, a certain weather, climate area, whatever the case may be. We've gotten away from trying to learn new ideas and be able to grow our community. Because whether we want to believe it or not, folks, the younger generation, the 30 and under demographic, is not coming out in the woods in droves like we did as kids. They're not going camping on their own. They're not learning the outdoor skills that we learned as kids. They're just not. And if we're going to sit here and we're going to argue about why Cody got fired off the show or why this or that, who's going to lose out in the long run? Our youth. Because we're being sidetracked with stuff that just doesn't, doesn't matter or make a difference in our life. These shows, folks, are for entertainment purposes only. If you go to Discovery Channel to watch a show to learn survival skills, you are going to be in the Hurt Locker. 
That's why I always say in my videos, you need to go out and practice. Practice in your backyard. Practice in your garage. Practice out here in the woods. Practice at a local park, a campground, whatever. Own the skills. Yeah, you may not do it right for 100 times, but do it 101 times. That 101st time may be the time that you do it correctly. The thing is, is that you're getting out, you're doing it. And I think we're getting away from that. And we're losing sight of the big picture that the youth, specifically here in America, is disenfranchised with coming out here in the woods and doing things. They just are. So my challenge to you, if you're watching this video, this summer, grab a niece, grab a nephew, grab a friend, volunteer time at a local scout troop, a venture crew, a boys and girls club, wherever, and let's see if we can make a difference this summer by getting at least one youth per viewer out there. Let's do that. Let's not focus on dual survival, naked and afraid, survivor man, whatever. Who cares? Let's focus on learning the basics. Let's focus on taking the kids out. And in the process, we learn as well. Folks, I'm not going to preach anymore. I'm not going to bore you. But that's my challenge to you. Let's adopt a youth. Let's get folks out there. Let's get them passionate about the woods again, about learning outdoor primitive skills. Folks, the the old folks that are teaching these skills are passing away in droves. The skills that I learned from my grandfather, those people are starting to pass away in numbers daily. We need to record those people. We need to write down their stories. We need to save our heritage and save those skills and pass those on to our youth. Or they're going to be lost forever. So that's my challenge to you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, folks, thank you so much for watching my videos. I'm sorry to get on the stump out here and preach, but I think it had to be said. Somebody in the community has to say enough is enough of the BS fighting that just wastes time and wastes precious moments in our life that we can't get back. Folks, this is John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thanks for checking in. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.